Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're going to continue on our Don't Do This uh, number three series today. And I really want you to look closely at, at this setup here in the photo because setting up your rig in the room is so critical. And remember, we've got those rules that we have to obey. So if this is our desk and these are our monitors, this distance to this sidewall and this distance to this sidewall have to be equal. No discussion. Okay. This distance here from the wall to the rig can vary, but we like to start with three to four feet. Okay. So you can see we're not set up that way in, in this photo here. Then what do we have? We have windows everywhere. And they're right at the primary reflection points. They're right at the middle of the front wall, which is a big no-no. So we got a lot of issues going on here. We got unequal distances. We got surface areas that are crazy bad for sound quality and it's just not a good start. No amount of treatment type position or amount is going to correct this problem. So we have to set up correctly from the beginning. Now the next step, and, and I see this as a lot with all of you, is that you, have, you don't have enough budget to treat the areas that need to be treated, which are here, here, and here. So we usually break it down into phases and treat the biggest offending surface area first, which is the front wall. And four of our ACDA units usually work well there, and then more on the sides too. But this is a good place to put treatment. So if we put treatment there, we can actually remedy this problem that we have in the setup with the glass everywhere. Because the units are going to be high enough that they'll create a good sound field and, and the glass won't bother us that much. Obviously, it's better not to have it. And then look look real quickly at the floor, you can see that it's a very hard surface material. So we want to get some absorbing um, materials on the floor also to help the situation out. But some big rules that we must follow here. Equal distances, stay away from the windows obviously, and get some low frequency management treatment in the room. That'll go a long way. Obviously, uh, there's instruments in the room, so there's composing and stuff going on. So you want to get the room in a position to handle both usages. And you can do that with a variable acoustic format where you roll the units in place when you're mixing and roll them around the instruments when you're recording. So hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.